Hi, I am Manuela Veloso, and I am a professor in computer science at Carnegie Mellon University. So I want to tell you a little bit about the research that, in, that is underlying this concept of uh, autonomous robots, intelligent robots. So humans themselves have this ability to have perception, so that we have vision, and so we can sense and we can see the world. And then we make decisions to, we have to go to the airport, we go in a car, we turn left, we turn right, and we actually go. So the problem of an intelligent robot is to try to also integrate this perception, cognition, and action in the same computer program, in the same creature, which we call a robot. We send them out into these tasks, but their autonomy has gaps. So they might not understand what you say, they might not be able to do it, everything, and so they are symbiotic autonomous because they ask for help. And they can go to the web and find out, they can ask other robots, they can ask for help from people. So somehow, I realized that this discovery of that the robots have limitations, but on the other hand, they autonomously, autonomously are capable of asking for help, is quite... Uh, is quite compelling because now you can rely on technology to do many things, but not all. And therefore, they are part of this environment and they collaborate with humans and they are not like just on their own. They really need the humans the same way that the humans need them. We work with a, a, a portfolio of students with all interests, both at the interdisciplinary er, uh, aspect. We get students that have backgrounds in physics, in math, in computer science, in engineering, in psychology, and all the way to also understanding that the students are extremely hardworking and extremely curious. They are visionary students. So that enables a lot of our faculty and myself to really have dreams about what the world can be and see that these students actually uh, engage with us in very, very daring avenues of research. With one of my students, uh, we were very interested on in doing robot soccer, you know, multiple robots engaged on some kind of very uncertain environment like a, a soccer game. It was not for the soccer purpose, but it was this concept of like what happens when you go and play against another team that you never see, you never saw before. So there was this, and at CMU in those days, if I would write a book about the history of robot soccer, it was completely something nobody have, had heard of this. Now people know about it, but there was always someone telling me, that's okay, if you like to do it, do it. Do what you like and like what you do.